Hey guys, it's Ellie, and today I'm doing a very awesome video for you guys. It is a collab video with uh, Becca from Becca's Inner Beauty blog. She is a super sweet girl, and I love her videos. She is, you can just tell that she's really confident about who she is, and that she's very open and real um, with her videos, and she really gr gives great advice to everyone, so definitely check out her channel and I'll link her channel and her video that she did down below because she is just really inspiring and awesome. Without further ado, I'm going to get into this video and it is all about bad friends and how to choose good friends. And also I want to put this little disclaimer out there. We can all be bad friends at times and you know, we can all say the wrong things. We can all do the wrong things because we're human and we're not perfect. But what I'm talking about in this video is bad friends that are just not someone really that you want to be around for a long period of time or maybe a couple of times. We can all mess up here and there and that's totally fine and we shouldn't, you know, hold people to that if they do a few things wrong. But if they continually keep hurting us, keep disrespecting us, um, just being rude, then we sh need to clear that out of our lives. So that is what this video is going to be about. Just Alright, so what do I mean by bad friends? Well, to me, bad friends are the people who are always negative, who don't care about you, who don't listen to you, or like, you know, let you talk about yourself. So, a bad friend is someone who always talks about themselves and their problems and doesn't let you put in your two cents. Also, a bad friend is someone who doesn't take the time to hang out with you or make plans with you. Kind of like a one-sided friendship where you feel like you're the one always making the plans, that sort of thing. A bad friend is someone who insults you, who gossips about you, you know who you feel you can't tell everything to, who, you know, you can't trust. So those are what, you know, bad friends are. And if you do have a bad friend, you should notice that. And, you know, don't be afraid to just, you know, kind of, this is going to sound bad, but clear them out of your life. Give yourself a break from them, that kind of thing. Now I'm going to give you some tips about how to choose a good friend and also how to be a good friend. So number one is make sure your friends are doing things that you're okay with. So obviously if you have friends that are maybe smoking, doing drugs, cheating, stealing, lying, that sort of a thing, and if you're not okay with someone doing those things, then th that's not a good friend then you shouldn't be friends with them and you shouldn't be around them because like like I said earlier what you're around the most is who you're most likely to become the most and who you are around the most reflects who you are a little bit alright the second thing is to make sure it's not a one-sided friendship make sure that person is allowing time for you to talk and you to give um, share about what's been going on in your life but also make sure you are letting your friends tell what has been going on in their life and letting them share about themselves. And also make sure you both are are planning time to hang out with each other and it's not all one sided. Also make sure your friend is easy to talk to and that you can trust them. My fourth tip is make sure your friend is someone you can have fun with but also be serious about. And my roommate who's going to be my roommate in like a couple weeks, Sarah, and she also has a YouTube channel, so I'll link that down below for you guys to check out, but she is an amazing example at someone I can be fun with and someone I can be serious with, because we can like start crying, laughing, you know, We're laughing so hard that we cry, we get on the floor, like laughing, and like look at you each other and laugh, like all those silly little things, but we can also be super serious together and talk about what we're 
struggling with and just stuff that we're dealing with in life, whether good or bad things. Um, so she is an amazing example of this, and I've never seen a person, I've never really met a person in my life that can handle like being serious and fun so well, and I'm just think that she's such an amazing friend and an amazing person and I'm so glad she's my roommate. Love you girl. Make sure your friends know your talents and can challenge you with them or with your weaknesses but they don't force you to do things that you don't want to do. So maybe they tell you about things that you might you might be interested in but like make sure they're not gonna you know, force you to go on stage in front of people if you don't like public speaking. You know, you don't want a friend that's going to push you out of your comfort zone into an area that you don't want to be, you know, that you're not comfortable around. You want a friend that's going to challenge you and encourage you, but you don't want a friend that's going to, you know, make you do things that you really, really are not okay with. My sixth tip is to make sure your friends keep in touch with you, and this was super hard um, to really deal with, especially from, you know, going off to college and seeing, like, which of my friends, like, kept in touch with me while I was still at college, and also being back this summer, and who's, like, going to hang out with me and really just talk to me while I'm at home again. And this is super hard because you start realizing who your true friends are and who really wants to be in your life and who doesn't. And so you want to make sure you have a friend who, you know, is going to text you from time to time saying, hey, what's up, what's going on in your life? Because you don't want to miss out on huge, maybe, announcements or huge experiences in that person's life and never hear about it. You want to have a friend that's going to keep you updated on all of that and also want to be updated with you. My last tip is make sure your friend is someone who you can be yourself around and that is super important because if you can't, if you don't feel like you can be yourself around someone, that's really unhealthy and you do not want that at all. So make sure you can be yourself around someone because you want to have fun and you want to just, you know, be focused on being a good friend and you know, only bringing your friendship up and not bringing it down at all. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm sorry it was kind of long, but, you know, I wanted this video to be long because, you know, picking good friends and avoiding bad friends is, you know, really important. So I just wanted to inform you guys about my tips. And if you guys have any tips on how to choose good friends and how to avoid bad friends, leave those comments down below. And yeah, make sure you go subscribe to Becca or at least at least check out her channel because she's so sweet and she's so uplifting and awesome. Um, so definitely check her out. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe because, yeah. Anyway, I love you guys. Bye.